Welcome to the Opera Zoo. I'm Randy, and this is Just Listen Podcast. And we got an episode for you. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so we have a series going on in True on This. We're going to cover seasonings. And then in Flip the Script, we're going to be covering the gospel according to Disney. But first, updates. As you may kind of tell, I, I cut my hair to my original style. Um, um, I usually wear a hat, um, so you probably don't notice too much of a difference. Uh, but yeah, I cut my hair. Um, I started working again. It's been a blast. It's fun. Um, it's not what I want to do, but it's work and it's pretty fun. So it's not it's not too bad. Um, um, and then um, as I pay off my debt, um, I can probably start buying ingredients again and probably have cooking videos towards the summer. Um, but yeah. And more stuff and content for Twitch as well towards the summer. So that's all being pushed towards summer and fall. I'm still streaming on Saturday nights. um, Puzzle and chill roughly around 7.30ish. And I just play puzzle games. I've been playing Picross um, lately. And I'll probably continue playing uh, Picross as well. Um... (laughs) Um, but then on the works, um, probably be going to play some Professor Layton and has a lot of puzzle stuff. Um, my iPad has a couple of kind of puzzly, the um, escape roomy kind of app games as well. And so those are just in the future. And so if you're into that or you just want to chill and hang out and talk about uh previous podcast shows shows or anything or anything in life um just come hang out chill on saturday nights um yeah so that's happening um anything else i believe that is everything so let's head on to true on this so true on this we're heading into a series is on seasonings um and so this episode is kind of an introduction just kind of creating definitions here um, i say creating definitions because there's a lot of gray and a lot of uh, there's a lot of there's is it's hard to define things um as you will see so uh merriam webster dictionary says a seasoning is an ingredient in parentheses such as a condiment spice or herb Herb and parentheses added to food primarily for the savour that it imparts. Savour, um, if you don't know what that means, it's basically taste and or smell. Um, and so it is in, basically a seasoning is an ingredient that adds um, flavor <laughs> to a dish. Um, and then a condiment. Um, this is what a condiment says. Condiment is something used to enhance the flavor of food. Food. So basically, a condiment is a seasoning, but then seasoning is an ingredient such as a condiment. And you're just like, what? <laughs> um, so basically, a condiment is, um, according to the dictionary, um, is a is something that enhances flavor of food. Um, but I believe most people. Um, most people will agree that condiments are things that you find in packets. So this is your ketchup, mayo, mustard, right? Those, those are your condiments. Um, so my definition, this is a definition that I've kind of generically sized into this word. Condiment is um, things that are wet. Um, they're wet, they're sauces, they're spreadable, they're liquids, right? So these are your, these are your ketchup, mayo, um, oils vinegar lemon juice right these these are your condiments um these are what uh yeah these are your condiments like things like that um and i also included spreads so your nut butters there's um hummus tahini sauce 
right? Your sauces, these are these are condiments. Um, and then we have herbs. Um, herbs are typically fresh. fresh typically, I say typically because you can get dry herbs. Um, but they're typically fresh, and they're the leafy green parts of plants. And um, bay leaves, these basil, right? Um, parsley, thyme, rosemary. They're basically the leafy parts. Uh, <laughs> sage. Uh, and then spices are basically all the other parts. Because um, you can get root. Um, Made, spices are made from roots, um, bark, um, stems, like all kinds of different parts. Uh, um, and generally, they're not the leafy parts. Um, but like I said, there's there's gray areas, uh, um, and they're are, and they're usually dry too, um, as well. Well, um, but yeah. Uh, and then you have things that don't really fit into these categories like salt, um, sugar, uh, um, don't necessarily fit in any of these kind of categories. Anyways, but but there are also seasonings as well. Um, I think I think I covered everything. Um, yeah. So today's you on this. It's not gonna. It's not very long. They're not gonna cover it much. It's just kind of introduction. And then we're gonna. Talk about spices next. Um, the next, the next um, episode, we're gonna be talking about spices. I don't know. I, I kind of lost my train of thought. Uh, but yeah, next episode, we're gonna be talking about spices. Is and we're gonna tell you talking about. Um, we're gonna try to cover common spices, as well as the variety of spices. We can't cover all the spices because there's just so many um, but we're gonna cover common typical ones um, and then maybe health benefits um, nutritional effects I don't know we'll see what happens um, but yeah that's it for two of this so let's head to flip the script so today's flip the script we are talking about about the gospel according to Disney which is going to be the series and we're going to go through Disney animation studios so we're going to go through each movie and kind of look at it from a biblical perspective and so um, we already did Lion King so if we ever get to Lion King again we're gonna kind of skip over that you can just go back and watch that and, but we're starting out with the first ever featured full-length animated movie Snow White um, yeah it was the first first of its kind and um, it was the first full length movie and um, and and everyone called it Disney's Folly um, and he went practically bankrupt and borrowed had to borrow even more money because they couldn't finish the movie and it was basically down to like the wire um in completion of this movie it, but it was a big hit it was a success and it basically created um disney as we know it today it kind of launched um disney as we know it today and his passion for pursuing and pushing kind of the boundaries <laughs> um, but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about Snow White and the Seven Dwarves there's um, there's, and more specifically this one scene in Snow White right? and that is when the evil queen I mean, takes matters into her own hand disguises herself and then gives Snow White the poison apple Oh, and that is is very similar to the scene that happens in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. It's in the Garden of Eden. There's this serpent uh, who tempts Eve into eating of the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You know, and so let me set the scene for Snow White. 
right? Uh, so the evil queen takes matters in her own hand because the huntsman and she sent out to kill Snow White um, didn't. So she disguises herself as a peddler, the peddler's disguise. Right? And that's an old hag witch um, looking thing. And, uh, um, so if you think like old cartoons, the witches in old cartoons is that kind of <laughs> cackle. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know either. Like, um, if you just imagine that, you can kind of get the general picture of what uh, the evil queen looks like at this point. And, and then she poisons an apple, oh, which causes sleeping death. death and, and this apple oh, looks... Um, this looks bright red and is in a basket of other apples and compared to the other apples this one is like it stands out um, um, and then she goes to the dwarves cottage where you see Snow White baking a gooseberry pie because that's what the dwarves loved uh, and so she decides to make gooseberry pie and the Queen sees this moment and kind of takes it and is like, oh, you're making pie? What about apple pie? So kind of introducing the, just kind of introducing and tempting temptation, right? And what about an apple pie? I have the best apples. Here, try one. And she pulls out the poisoned apple, right? Try it. You know it's good and it's Good to make into a pie, right? Right, and then and then st stuff happens, and and she enters. She eventually enters the house, and then kind of seals the deal, oh, by saying that this apple is no ordinary apple. There's a secret. It's a wishing apple. Oh, and Snow White, right, then eventually makes a wish, takes a bite, and falls into sleeping death um, um, and so you see this kind of progression of this is an apple it's good for pie it's good for food it looks the most delicious out of the ones in the basket and then kind of sealing the deal it's a wish granting apple which was a lie but technically true because in the end she does get her happily ever after <laughs> um, so technically, technically it was a wish granting apple it's just it poisoned her until the wish was granted <laughs> but uh, that's besides the point it was it was poison okay it's a poison apple oh, uh, and then um, and then we see in the Genesis Garden of Eden story um, Genesis 3 Three is where this interaction happens between the serpent and and Eve, and then in Genesis three six is when she he finally eats eats of the fruit, and it says this: When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took and ate it. Right. Right. She saw the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which was forbidden by God to eat, and because God says you will surely die. Right. Um, right. She saw the fruit, that it was good for food, right? similar to Snow White and the apple. The apple was good for food, it was good for making pie. Right. Right. It was pleasing to the eye. It looked, it looked, it looked beautiful. It looked good. It looked delicious. That apple... Ooh, it was bright red. It looked delicious. Is and in this case, it was a wish-granting apple. In the garden story, it was it grant you wisdom, right? right? And they both took it and ate. But here's the thing: it was poisoned. Snow White. It was poisoned. In in the garden it was forbidden and because it will surely lead to death and that it did and that that was sin that was disobedience and it caused caused 
It caused death. It caused a disconnection with God. God. And but it didn't end there. It doesn't end there, right? Right. Snow White is now oh, fallen to this deep sleep where she is basically dead, but actually sleeping. Um, but basically dead because the blood is no longer moving. In, and then we, and then in Garden, Garden we are now disconnected with God. Uh, the, the, all hope is lost. We now need to. All right, but it doesn't end there. Snow White gets her happily after her prince charming comes. Um, with the kiss, she is cured, and they live happily ever after. This is the beginning of the Bible. This is Genesis. This is the beginning of the Bible. It doesn't end there. God had a plan to fix everything. And we, too, can have a happily ever after. And we, too, can have an eternity in heaven with him. him. And that was fulfilled through Jesus Christ. Nice. Jesus came came down to earth he became in the form of man a human and and he took the price of sin which was death and then he paid it on the cross but it didn't end there yeah, for jesus died but he rose again so we do not serve a dead god we serve a living god uh, and, and by trusting and believing him and that he took away our sins, we too can have a happily ever after in heaven with him. him. And that is the end. And, well, not really the end. It's technically the beginning because we have eternity, right? Right? Uh, but uh, you, can't, you, you get the point, right? Uh, um, but, yeah. Uh, so... The, so there is that so just my point of the story all right of the flip the script is that you, know, you have the poison apple and the witch's temptation and you have the serpent's temptation to eve you know, eating the forbidden fruit the fruit and then similarly in the end of the story all right there is redemption there is there is revival from this is curse of death. death and I'm telling you that solution that cure is no Prince Charming that cure is Jesus Christ right? who saves you from your sins saves you from your curse of death and it's by trusting and believing him as Lord and Savior that he paid the price of your sin that he rose again and, and that you can have eternity with him and you can have eternal life in him. And, and that is your happy ever after. Um, that's flip the script. So let's head out to the outro. So wrapping things up. Uh, we had, we talked about seasoning. So what seasonings do you use? Uh, what seasonings do you want to learn about? Comment down below. Oh, as well as if you want to talk about Snow White, um, did I miss anything? Um, anything? Do you have any confusion on what I said? Or you want to add and contribute to that conversation on Snow White? Comment down below as well. Um, if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, um, there's a link, link in the disc. There is, I don't know if it's a link, but there is a description. In the description, you'll find um, my Twitter account as well as a uh, YouTube food channel. So you can head over there and join in on the conversation. Um, if you made it this far, um, congratulations. <laughs> and I greatly appreciate you. I, I love you so much. Um, you stuck around this long. Um, um, there are timestamps. Um, and that's where you can just jump to who, the segment that you want to hear. So you don't even listen, need to listen to the whole thing. You don't even need to listen to the introduction, um, the updates. And so you can just skip right to who, chew on this or right to 
Flip the Script. Um, I'm not sure how many people are listening to Flip the Script anyways. Um, they're probably more interested in the chew on this. Um, probably if I'm being honest, I don't know. I don't know who, who listens to what or what. I just, I, the only analytics I see um, currently is how many people uh, watch or listen. Um, I don't know how far they get. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I could probably find it um, if I searched enough, but yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> besides the point, uh, thank you so much. Um, you are greatly appreciated. Uh, uh, yeah. So I hope you have a jelly day. Bye.